Hello! Firstly, I don't like doing these type of videos attacking a fellow nationalist, but the nonsense Nick Griffin's coming out of late, I thought I had to. I, I've got to address this because it's also nonsense, Nick. You're talking about the coronavirus as a big scam by the government to lock us all down and condition us for this future police state. Well, where's the evidence to support that? Who's given Boris Johnson, given he nearly died of the coronavirus, who's given Boris Johnson his instructions to do this? You say they're locking us down to condition us for a future police state. So the Metropolitan Police hierarchy in on this? Of the scientific and medical community, are they in on it? Is David Attenborough, is he in on it? He knows it's a scam and it's a... Lock us all down to conditioners for this future police state. Come on. I mean, do you realise how many government bodies, agencies, departments would all have to be involved in this to implement this scam, this plan to lock us all down to conditioners for a future police state? You're talking hundreds or thousands of people, Nick. It's like with all these conspiracy theories, Right? When you really dissect them, you see how stupid and not and full of nonsense they are. You see, who gives Boris Johnson then his orders? Don't say the liberal elite, the global elite, the bankers. I want names. Who's given Boris Johnson his orders to lock us all down and prepare us, conditioners, sorry, conditioners was the word you use, conditioners for a future police state while they're Big corporations make tons of money out of us. Who's given Boris Johnson his orders? Who's given Trump his orders then if he's in on it? And right around the world. It's just ludicrous. You've gone from political heavyweight to lunatic fringe crank. But maybe th there's money in it for you. I don't know. Or do you really believe this stuff? You're talking... Or oh, well, should I say there's a statement on your profile on Twitter, there's no parliamentary road. Well, when did you realise that? When you wasn't re-elected to the European Parliament in 2014? Come on, Nick, who are you fooling? Hey, you'd be in the European Parliament tomorrow if you could and you know you would, right? You're talking about disengaging from the system and let's all form these white communities. They don't need to be formed. They're already there in Burnley, Blackburn and Oldham. Where we can, with the right political party, the right strategy, we can gain full political, economic and social power in them areas. We can do that through the ballot box, legally. We don't have to go to the countryside, grow our own produce and learn kids how to play guitars and sing folk songs. I mean, I can't believe just out, out of touch from the real world you are. And also, you're misleading good, genuine young nationalists that are coming into the movement now with all this nonsense, it's all over. No, it's all over for you because it's convenient. You're saying the system's going to collapse. No one knows that. But let's just say it, it's, it is going to collapse whenever. Then we've got as much chance as anyone else to gain power, haven't we? And probably more so the way things are going, right? I'm not saying we're going to get enough MPs to be elected to number 10. But by having uh, councillors elected, MPs elected, controlling councils, that is a big, big uh, push towards power, isn't it? Of course it is. The system would love us all to move to the countryside singing folk songs around uh, fires and growing our own produce. And those Americans that I interviewed you, what were they on about? Who were they? The cocktail hour, that's the blog, I'll leave the link below. You know, you're saying there's been an intense discussion about what you were talking about, I'm sure. The enemy just will mobilise all its agents to, to, to push it and say, what a great idea, Nick, and this is the way forward. Of course they will. You know, I don't know, do you really believe in all this stuff? Or is it just convenient for you uh, for now? I don't know, I really don't know. But I, I'm bewildered. Honestly, God, you're not the Nick Griffin I once knew, or maybe you were, maybe... It was you that was conning all us, not Boris Johnson conning the nation, you conning all us nationalists. I don't know. But the state would love us to disengage. That's what it wants us to do. That's what our enemies want us to do. 
This is wrong what you're saying, Nick Griffin. Very wrong. And also, it's a little bit of nonsense, you know. Okay, thank you. Our activity must be geared to the winning of power. That still has to be said to some people in our movement here in America, back in Britain and everywhere else. They are crusaders for the truth, but they don't relate it to the necessities of winning power. It cannot be said enough. Power is what must be won. First, just a little bit of power. Then more power. And finally, complete power. Activity geared to anything else is a waste of time.